Thanks for being here. I, uh, as you saw, I just met with the leaders of NATO and the G7 and uh, talk about the latest events in Europe. And I briefed them on my discussions with President Duda of Poland, as well as NATO Secretary General Stoltenberg. And uh, we agreed to support Poland's investigation into the explosion in rural Poland near the Ukrainian border. And I'm going to make sure we figure out exactly what happened. Our empathy and sympathy goes out to apparently two people were killed. and. Uh, and then we're going to collectively determine our next step as we investigate and proceed. There was total unanimity among the folks at the table. And we also discussed the latest series of Russian missile attacks, which are continuing the brutality and inhumanity that they've demonstrated throughout this war against Ukrainian cities and civilian infrastructures. And uh, it's, they've been totally unconscionable, what they're doing. Totally unconscionable. And the moment when the world had come together at the G20 to urge de-escalation, Russia continues to, uh, has chosen to escalate in Ukraine while we're meeting. I mean, there were scores and scores of attacks, missile attacks, in the western Ukraine. We support Ukraine fully in this moment, and we have, uh, we have since the start of this conflict, we're going to continue to do whatever it takes to give them the capacity to defend themselves. Is it too early to say whether this missile was fired from Russia? There is preliminary information that contests that. I don't want to say that till we completely investigate. But it, it is, uh, I, 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 it's unlikely in the minds of the trajectory that it was fired from Russia. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Unlikely, sir. Mr. President, as Poland suggested.